we're going to review um, multiplying polynomials, and um, we did this in grade, a little bit in grade 9, a little bit in grade 10, mostly in grade 10, I guess. So, let's see, there's a few different types that we'll be looking at. Um, the first type is a monomial, monomial times a monomial. So, we have two monomials in the first example. The first one is right here, negative 4 x cubed y to the fifth power, and the second one is 3x to the fourth power, y to the seventh power, z. Those are two monomials, and we're going to multiply them together. Um, okay, so basically the rule is you're going to multiply each part individually. Like you're going to multiply the numbers together, the negative 4 and the 3. You're going to multiply the x's together, you're going to multiply the y's together, you're going to multiply the z's together. Okay, so let's start with the numbers. Negative 4 times 3, negative 12. Okay, next we have x cubed, and we're going to multiply that times x to the fourth power. So you need to remember the rule that if we are multiplying powers, right, these are both powers, and if we have the same base, in this case x, what do we do with the exponents, the 3 and the 4? We actually add them. So you don't need to write all this out, but what you want to be thinking of is x to the 3 plus 4, oh, it's x to the 7th. So that's what we get here, is x to the seventh power. Um, whoops. Let me uh, put this back in there. Okay. Um, next, the y's. So we're multiplying y to the fifth times y to the seventh. So we will end up with y to the five plus seven, y to the twelfth. And finally, we have z to the one here, right? We have one. How many z's do we have here? Zero. But still the same rules. You still add them together. So 0 plus 1 is 1. Z to the first power. We're finished. Okay, second one. A monomial times a binomial. Or by trin you could also multiply the monomial by a trinomial. And basically this is your mountains. So you're going to multiply the monomial up front by the first term. And then multiply that one again by the second term. If it was a trinomial and there was a third term in here, you'd just have a third mountain, right? Um, okay, and basically we do the same thing we did up here, but we do it twice. So a little bit quicker this time. 3 times 4 is 12. x squared times x squared. We're adding the exponents, so we get x to the fourth power. And we still have a y to deal with, so it's kind of like y to the zero power times y. Add the exponent, 0 plus 1. We just get a y. Okay. 3 times negative 8 to start the next one, and you get negative 24. x squared times, oh, there's no x, x's here, so it's 2 plus 0 x's here, so we just get x squared, and 0 y's times the, the y here, so 0 plus 1, we still have 1 y there. Okay, that's the end of that question. Next one, binomial times binomial. This is a mountains and valleys question. You need to multiply this 2x by the first term and that 2x by the second term. There's your mountains. Then you need to multiply the 1 by the first term and the 1 times the 2y. Mountains and valleys. Here's your valleys down here. Uh, okay, here we go. 2x times 3x. It, 2 times 3 is 6. x times x. Add the two exponents. There's a 1 on this one and a 1 on this one. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2x two times negative 2y. Always look at the sign in front. So 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. x times, there's no other x's there, so we're just going to have an x. And then there's no y's times the y. You just have a y. Or another way, I mean, eventually you're going to just think of it as x times y is xy. Okay, 1 times 3x. So it's positive. 1 times 3x, well, it's still 3x. And 1 times negative 2 is negative 2, and you still have the y. So there you go. Okay, now what we should look for here is to see if you can combine any terms. Maybe this is a bad example, because oftentimes you'll be able to combine the two middle terms. But these aren't like terms. This one's xy, and this one's x, so you can't combine those two terms. Maybe I'm going to very quickly do another example here. Um, of a binomial times a binomial, and you'll see how oftentimes you have to combine those middle terms. Okay, I'm going to do this quite quickly. So 3x times 2x, 6x squared. 
3x times negative 1, negative 3x. 2 times 2x, positive 4x. 2 times negative 1, negative 2. And we won't stop there because if you look, you can combine these two terms. You have negative 3x plus 4x. So we end up with 6x squared. Negative 3x plus 4x is positive 1x, or just plus x, minus 2. And now we're done. None of these are like terms. We can't combine any of those. Okay, but make sure you look. Oftentimes you can combine two of the terms, and it's usually the two in the middle. Okay, on to binomial squared. This is one of the most common um, mistakes in high school math. And the mistake is people think this is a spreading the love question. They think you do this and this. 2x squared is 4x squared. Negative 3 squared is plus 9. Let's move on to the next one. No, you just got this question wrong. That's not right. You cannot spread the love when it's an adding or subtracting question. You can only spread the love from multiplying and dividing. <clears throat> so remember, how we're going to answer this question is we're going to think to ourselves, if 5 squared means 5 times 5, and m squared means m times m, then what does 2x, ignore my erasing here for a second, what does 2x minus 3 all squared mean? Well, that means 2x minus 3 times 2x minus 3. Hey, what do you know? We're left with a binomial times binomial question. You're going to do exactly the same thing you did in number 3 here. Now, I know some of you know how to do this without writing out the two binomials, and that's fine if you know how to do that. I'm not going to do that today because I want to make sure that you know how to do this safely, and I consider this a safe way to answer the question. Okay, so here's our mountains, and here's our valleys. So let's see what we get. 2x times 2x, 4x squared. 2x times negative 3, we're going to multiply the 2 times the negative 3, and we get negative 6x. Negative 3 times 2 is another negative 6, and we still have the x. So just to be clear, I multiplied negative 3 times 2x and got negative 6x. And negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. Don't go on to the next question until you see if you can combine terms. And you certainly can. You can combine these two middle terms right here. So our final answer is 4x squared. And then negative 6x, take away another 6x, is negative 12x plus 9. That's it. Okay, last one. These are the dreaded binomial times trinomial. It's not that they're more difficult. It's just they take so darn long. Uh, because you have to do mountains and valleys again with this. But how many mountains we got? One, two, three. How many valleys do we have? One, two, three. Oh, my. It's a lot of work. 4x times 5x squared. Well, 4 times 5 is 20. x times x squared, we're going to add the 1 and the 2 here, so we get x cubed. 4x times negative 3x, negative 12x squared. 4x times 6, 24x. That's a 24. 3 times 5x squared, positive 3 times 5x squared is 15x squared. Positive 3 times negative 3x is negative 9x. And positive 3 times positive 6 is positive 18. Okay, now you got to look for like terms. Any other x cubes in here? None. So we can just write 20x cubed. Any other? Remember, we're going to underline the sign in front. So it's negative 12x squared. Any other x squared in here? Yes. So we have negative 12x squared plus 15x squared. Negative 12 plus 15 is positive 3x squared. They're like terms, and the term stays the same. It's still an x squared. Okay? Positive 24x. Any other x's? Yes, here's one here. Remember the sign in front. So positive 24x, take away 9x. 24 take away 9 is 15x. And finally, we have one more left over. I don't know if I need to underline it. I don't know, crazy squiggly underline, plus 18, so we're going to write plus 18, and we're finished. Hope that makes sense. If not, make sure you come and talk to me or email me or 
do what you need to do to make sure you understand the stuff. Really important that this becomes fairly straightforward for you. Okay? Take care. Oh,